Blessings, blessings on this lovely Friday. Thank God it's Friday. This is Dr. K and I'm in the house. And so I just had to be obedient and move forth in this on today. And so, of course, many of you guys know I've been in a season of writing, writing lots of books, journaling, things of the such. We have a private Facebook group. It's um, Apostolic and Prophetic Journaling, Scribing Heaven's Blueprint. And so if you are not a part, become a part because what is being uh, uh, taught and the manifestation of the fivefold in this group is powerful. It's powerful when we come together in numbers. But as I was sitting up here and I'm, I'm at work, OK, but I got a little time. I heard. It's how you. How you respond, okay? Your response in this season to the storms, okay? And to the situations. It is your, it is your response that's going to be the determiner and how things manifest for you. And that's deep. That's very deep because the father is getting to the point to where he's like, look, I have instilled my love in you. I have instilled my word in you. Many of you have a relationship with me. I'm inside of you. Okay. You should be moving in me in a point of though you may have trials and tribulations and things come at you, but we should be moving in a manner of, I know what God or Yahweh Okay, say it pertaining to my life. So though the things may try to form, they shall not prosper. Okay. And so this is what I journaled. Okay. So I'm just going to read. So first of all, understanding response. So response refers to the way we react to situations, challenges, or storms in our life. It is more than just an um, instinctual reaction. So it involves our choices, our attitudes and emotions in the face of adversity. So spiritually, our responses can reflect our faith, understanding of God's word, Yahuwah's word and our relationship with him. Do You see how deep that is. And even as I'm reading this now, my my frequencies in my ears are going off because see when you speak in. What the father wants you to speak in this season, he's going to confirm it. OK, so see, this is his word today, because literally I'm sitting up here. And he was like, it is going to be you guys' response in this season. And if we all look at that, because we do fall short. OK, so though things do get hard for us. And. Our response at times may not be the best, but turning that around and acknowledging, okay, to the father, acknowledging, okay, you know, my response to that was not of you, father. So therefore, let me turn that around. Let me, you know, um, maneuver in another way, recognizing it and then moving forth. Okay. So. That when things continue to come at you, you will think before you react. And this is the thing. We cannot be ignorant to Satan's devices. OK, because that's that's what's going on for many of us. I can even say for myself, this is Satan's devices. But I'm telling y'all, as we have a response of the God of, of the godly things, a response in way by way of scripture, in response by way of uprooting, severing, and destroying, a response of still walking by faith and not by sight. Guess what? It's gonna tear down Satan's devices, okay? So spiritual breakdown of responses to storms. So recognition of the storm. And that's another thing we have to recognize when seasons change as you're elevating, as you're praying and you're asking for things. I was telling them in, in the group and I have ministered this before that when we pray for things, OK. It's going to be orchestrated or organized chaos. OK, 
So recognizing what it is and why it's coming at you will help your response be better because you know, well, I know this is my season of change. I know this is my season to launch the business, to launch the ministry. This is my season of marriage. This is my season, you know, of um, increase in my call. So when we recognize how to know what, what season of change we're in, then you will be able better to recognize Satan's devices. And so uh, recognition of the storm, and I like this in Mark 4, 35 through 41, Jesus or Yeshua and his disciples faced the storm while crossing the Sea of Galilee. So the disciples were afraid, but Jesus was at peace. He was, Yahuwah was at, Yeshua was at peace. Recognizing that storms are a part of life is essential. They can serve as opportunities for growth and deeper faith. And many of us, storms our God allows storms because it it strengthens us. It gives us faith to and to continue to rely on him. It builds our character. It builds uh, the anointing, the gifting, the, 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 the spiritual side of us in God. It builds these things. Uh, literally last night as I sat there and prayed, y'all, I didn't hardly get no sleep to me, but I was okay. I was so at peace. As I was praying and I was uprooting and severing and destroying because I knew yesterday was a very divine change pertaining to just things in the spiritual realms and dimensions. And so us recognizing our, our response is what our father is looking at. So if you know that your response has not, you know, been in faith or when you feel some type of way, taking it to him, venting to him. OK. And 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 turning that around. Spiritual insight. So acknowledging the storm is the first step, like I would say, acknowledging it, because a lot of times I'd be like, Satan, I see what you're doing in this. So, you know what? I'm going to press through to the high call. Okay. I'm going to press through because I know what my father said. And so acknowledging the storm is the first step. So it helps us to understand that challenges are not necessarily punishment from God, but it is to refine character and trust in him. He is refining many of us. Many of us, because of the mantle that we carry, we go through a lot of refinement. And, I, and, and I'm telling y'all, yes, it do not feel good. But it's well worth going through the refinement properly and not having to go back through it over and over and over again. Okay? So response of faith versus fear. So the disciples initially response was fear. Okay. Initial response. So Yeshua, however, rebuked the winds and the waves showcasing his authority over nature. Okay. So spiritual insight, our response can either be rooted in faith or fear. Faith involves trusting God's power and goodness while fear often leads to anxiety and doubt. So in moments of crisis, it is crucial to choose faith, reminding ourselves of God's promises and his and his sovereignness. So that's even a way to combat it. When you know something is coming your way. OK, when you know a storm, the best response is not to move in fear and doubt. But to speak his word, to speak his word, to do a Proverbs three, five and six. OK, to trust in him. And say, Lord, I may not understand this and I may not see all of the picture, but if you're allowing the storm, I know it's something good in it for me. So, Father, you know, and speak whatever scriptures or decree and declare in your life that is a form of maintaining faith. That is a form of maintaining faith. So see, sometimes we, we have to stop ourselves 
in our tracks because it it is you know uh, uh natural that when things come our way that we want to shut down or we want to have something to say but again we got to remember okay that we cannot be ignorant to satan's devices okay because of what we carry okay we don't carry carnal weapons we don't have to fight ourselves hallelujah we got spiritual weapons. We got the word. We got the father in us. Hallelujah. And it's more for us than against us. Hmm. It's more for us than against us. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So see, as you start to speak these things, guess what? Those winds and waves have to obey. Okay. Satan's devices start to fall down. Your response in faith, <coughs> your response, sorry, y'all. They in here freezing us. Some of us layered in three things, y'all. Um, but your response in faith, your response in his word, your response and even saying, Father, I may not understand this, but you know what? I trust you in it. OK, is going to open up the things for you because your father, our father is looking for our response in this season. So seeking God in the storm, James 1, 2 through 4, encourage us to consider it pure joy when facing trials because they produce perseverance. Spiritual insight. Our responses should include seeking God's guidance and wisdom through prayer and scripture. I just said that. And see, some of the stuff that I'm reading, this is just simply what's going to go in books and things. So all of this gives us an opportunity to deepen our relationship, our faith and trust in the Father, okay? And not to rely on our own strength. Because sometimes when we're going through things, though we may, you know, still walk in faith or call out scripture, but still it's some part of us that's still trying to maneuver in our own way. And what I mean by that, we're still trying to figure out a way from a worldly standpoint. But I'm telling you today, we we are spiritual, okay? We Though we're in a fleshly body, we are spiritual beings, okay? We're made in the image. So we, we have to really move in it from a spiritual standpoint because if we don't, sometimes things will not manifest in totality like they should because some of the things that some of you guys are facing is far beyond what something or someone in the natural can do for you. Only Yahuwah. God, okay, can do this for you. So sometimes there's just still something there. So sometimes the father will even allow certain things to get so bad to where you have no choice but to give it to him because he wants to show you whom he is in your life. So it is your response in this season to the storms to the trials, to Satan's devices, as they trumped anyway. I'm, I don't know if y'all ever remember me saying, I said this years ago, and people laughed, and I said it again later down the line. But I can remember when I was in Crestview, Florida, Pensacola, Crestview, Florida, 2019 to 2020, and it was part of my Job season when I was there. And I was in the car, for like hours and the prophecy was going forth. I had so many people on a live, like thousands and thousands of people because the spirit of the Lord, like was just, it just arrested all of us on there. And so as I'm going forth, I started laughing and people like, what is she laughing at? The father showed me Satan. Okay. As this lion, okay, with no teeth, all gums, and and biting a pillow, and couldn't even open up the pillow, okay, could uh, couldn't even open up the pillow. So that's all barking, no bite. So see, sometimes the father will bring 
analogies to us. He will let us see things in the manner in which they need to be seen in our life. Okay. To, to let us know that even in the facing of adversity and what we're going through. And even though we may have to go through some things to where we lose some things where, you know, things come at us and, you know, we may have to shift over here or there or whatever the case our father is still in control and it's it's better for us in that situation so when he showed me that pertaining to that to that lion and that's the thing he he wanted me to see that again today literally it was hilarious and everybody started laughing because what the joy of the lord is our strength hallelujah so using growth okay using the storm for growth so Romans 5, 3 through 5 explains how suffering produces perseverance, character, and hope. Spiritual insight, every storm, it can be an opportunity for spiritual growth. These things do grow us, okay? Yes, they do, because it, it keeps us from getting comfortable. The father told me years ago when I answered my call, he said, don't get comfortable nowhere. Even this job I got right now, he's, he told me, don't get comfortable in it. Though I love the people that I work with and taking care of the veterans, but I'm not comfortable here. I can't because when you have so much to do pertaining to your assignment, the father, you know what I'm saying? It's like you can't. You can't get comfortable because there's so much more for you. Many of us are, I call them kingdom preneurs. So we're kingdom preneurs. And so most of us that really carry the entrepreneur spirit that are marketplace apostles and prophets, we don't, we definitely don't get comfortable in working in a, in an actual environment because we see through the worldly ways and we see through things and we strive for decency and order okay so a lot of times many of us that are that are entrepreneurs we go through jobs and job after job after job but also i have learned that the places that i've been they've been assignments for me because i always meet somebody along the way or meet somebody's and either I'm praying for them, you know, laying hands on people there, you know, there's been so much amongst the jobs that I've had throughout the years to where healing has went forth, healing, deliverance, you know, trajectory shifts, things of the such, meeting the right people. And so let, let the storm thrust you through. But in the storm, make sure your response is still in faith, still in love, still rooted in his word, still speaking his word, still decreeing and declaring, still knowing that you are tunnel vision in the promises of God, which are yes and amen, that you are tunnel vision in the vision that he gave you, no matter which, which route the father takes you. Ye, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, but thou art with me. Sharing our experience. So, 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4 speaks of the comfort we receive from God, which enables us to comfort others. Spiritual insight, our, exp our experience in storms can become testimonies. Yes, many of us. Testimonium. We are walking, living testimonies, walking, living sacrifices of God used by him. And I've always say this. So everything that we go through, yes, it refines us and, and shapes us and it moves us forward. But ultimately, it is for us to bring others in because believe me, whatever you whatever you have went through in your life, hallelujah, you're going to be able to go back and pull others out because you might have had to go through abuse. You might have had to go through lack. You might have had to go through illness in your body. And the father will use those things for you to bring his people in. So. Respond 
in faith. Respond in calling the Father's word back. Respond in love. Respond by recognizing what the storm is, by recognizing Satan's devices and praying those things down. That is the response that our Father wants in us, not a response of, I'm done with this. Not a response of, you know, going off. Not a response of, you know, um, nothing. You know, because even, even a response of just shutting down, not saying anything, it's not the best response because life and death is in the power of the tongue. So as we speak out, our father's word halloween he's he's looking for that response because see see a lot of times a lot of us like to shut down and then we like to pull ourselves back from the very so people that that god has called us to be around in that season because of what you're going through and if god have you around certain people in a season it's for a reason i know i just rhymed on y'all but I'm not trying to be goofy but i'm goofy but i'm saying we we have to recognize if you know God have you around certain people in a season, ask him, why am I around them? Because it's something in them and it's something in you that's going to cause a, a cataclysmic effect spiritually that is going to cause a divine change in, in, in each and every one of your lives and other people. So see, we, we have to recognize these things because God, he, he will, Yahuwah, will bring the right people around us in this season. So then therefore, there can be a, a real spiritual shift and change in our life, real transformation. But it's going to be your response in this season. It's going to be your response. Not my response for you. Because my response for you is to move in faith. My response for you is to pray. My response for you is to love on you. My response is to intercess for you or go, or go into warfare prayers for you, uproot and sever. My response is to move in the way that the Father has me to move, you know, for you because I know where I'm called to. But even in that, your response has to be what's needed to cause the movement. So I pray that this helps somebody on today. And like I said, y'all gonna have to excuse me because we had a cold front come through here in Florida. And though I come from the cold, okay, I come from Michigan, though I moved around a lot and was in Texas and stuff, but I don't like cold. So imagine it being cold outside and then you come into a building and the building's even colder. So like I said, many of us layered up in here. So I'm coughing and everything. And I hate that when I'm when I'm going forth. But the word still had to go forth. Hallelujah. The word had to go forth. So yeah. So in this season, how we respond to the storms of life is, is, is crucial. This how we respond in this season. Even how, how we respond. To the very so person who you know stabbed you in your back, the very so people who came up against you, the very so people that hurt you, betrayed you, how you respond in this season is going to be, hallelujah, the end result of the things pertaining to your life. So all of us need to take a step back and say, has my response to the things been what it needed to be? So that things can, can, um, hallelujah. I'm, I'm seeing it's a bird and I, and it's right by my window. Just came a bird and a butterfly playing, praying up, praying. Well, hallelujah, playing together. Hallelujah. But yes, we got to all do an, an evaluation before how you did you call the bird. Oh my God. Y'all the bird got orange on it. The bird came and sat on my orakataba. Ah, yeah, that boy. Let me turn this Oriakataban Robo Shikrianta. Oh man, the bird left, y'all. The bird was so beautiful. It had um white specks and orange on it. And I was about to try to flip the camera. Hallelujah. Ayerebo shakalabo sa man serebo rahakatabansa. So before the month 
of November ends because y'all it's moving fast today the 18th. Please evaluate yourself. All of us. Cause I, I tell y'all, cause I'm, I'm real, I'm real with mine over here in this ministry. All of us need to evaluate ourselves to make sure our response has been in the proper form and way of, of God. Because that divine alignment, even in the midst of storms, adversities is going to refine and we're going to come out of it. Okay. So yeah. So choose faith today. See God and embrace the growth that comes from adversity. And even as I'm, uh, I just said that, I literally see like um, a beautiful, like mountains, mountains with white abreast them and waterfalls coming down and people standing up under the waterfalls as they have embraced the storms, the adversity, and literally they're, they're standing up under the waterfalls. And, and the Lord is filling them up with his spirit because, because we know the water signifies his spirit. And it's, and, and I'm talking about, and it's a continuous flow out of your belly shall flow the rivers of living water out of your heart shall flow the rivers of living water. And it's like, I see I see five. It's like five, like, so it's like a huge, big thing of a mountain, mountain, and it's rocky, okay, with this white coming down it, okay? So white signifies the transformation and the purification. And then the waterfalls coming from it, and people are literally standing. It's like people are taking turns and they're coming and they're standing up under there and they're they're getting transformed by the spirit of the Lord. He's he's overflowing them. And the thing about it, when you look behind, because like I said, there's five, five is the number of grace. Hallelujah. That is upon your response in this season, because we all have favor, but we have to respond in the proper way for the favor to start to manifest. But like I said, it's, I see people like, like coming up. But if you look in the back, the lines are very uh, little. And what I mean by that, it's not a whole bunch of people. It's not a whole bunch of people. So, so in this season, as I, as I look at that from a revelatory state, there's a remnant of people, hallelujah, that, that the father is uh, reviving in this season. He's transforming. There, there is a remnant of people that are seeking him beyond the veil. My God. Now, y'all know I'm going to have a word on that. Hold on. Seeking him beyond the veil. And I know somebody going to pick that up. And, I'm, and, and I know as I'm going for somebody going to have a word on that. But it's okay because I'm not the only one with an apostolic and prophetic gift. But there is, a, there is a people that is seeking him beyond the veil. Okay. That are willing to go through the fire. That are willing to go through everything. If that means, hallelujah. They got to lose everything. They got to lose everybody that's attached to them. There, there are a remnant that is willing to go through. And that is the ones that God is endorsing in this season. He is endorsing them because it is what your response in it all. It is your response. It is your response in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. And y'all know I'm at work and these walls thin, but you know what? Somebody going to get some God today in the name of Jesus. Mm. Your response even in the fire. We know how Meshach, Cedric, and Abednego man that. They was all up in that fire. I could just see them now. Here they go. Stand, it's, like, it's like I see them standing back to back 
with with you know each other you know what i'm saying so so imagine you got one person right here and their back is to your back and they just standing in this in this firing pit because i see a cage but it's like a fiery pit and they're standing hallelujah in it and they're looking but they still like god i trust you father and sometimes you just got to pull it down I trust your father. I trust you in it. And that fire is, is, is getting more and more hot. Now you may have a little sweat because now you're like, okay, I, I, I feel that this fire is getting hot. Hallelujah. But as your faith, hallelujah, as the faith of them and as them calling for the word of God manifested. Their response and it, their response, my God from Zion, their response is what generated Yeshua, Jesus to be right there and be their covering. Because even as I'm looking right now in the realms and dimensions of the spirit, that covering came around and it was white, 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 white. And it came around and it and it literally uh, was like a hedge and a fence of protection. And it, and, it, and, it, and it started from their feet. And it started to just cover them. Hallelujah. Up. Oh, Shaka. As that fire started to get hotter. Hallelujah. Because of their response of faith. Because of their response. I'm still going to serve the Lord. Even if he has to allow me to go through it. That ushered in the presence. Hallelujah. That ushered in the presence. Of Yeshua, it ushered, it ushered it in, and that's why they were saved, and that's why the king was like, "I want to serve your God. I want to get to know Him because if He can save you in this, especially after what I know I just did, and I know y'all should have been dead and gone." And my men came uh, came by the fire and they gone. But y'all still and y'all in the fire. Y'all right in the midst of it. In the deep pit, the cage of fire. So if your God can save you. Then guess what? I want to know your God. It was their response and faith, their response of, I don't care what I have to go through. I'm still going to serve you, Lord, hands down. And that's the remnant that I seen partaking where those mountains were with the water coming down. Are you that remnant in this season? Are you that remnant that the, those soldiers that said, you know, I'm body body. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm goofy, but I'm but but I but I know I'm in the vein. I'm body body. I'm about to stand in this. I'm about to posture. I'm about to just continue to, 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 to look for God in everything. My response still going to be in love when you come at me. My response still going to be, Father, though you slay me, yet I trust you. My response is going to be, I'm speaking your word. My response is going to be, I'm, I'm about to get in my secret place and pray my response is hallelujah though i'm going through but i'm about to pray for your sons and daughters and that the things manifested for them my response is i'm not looking at the fact that i may not have nothing in my bank account but i know hallelujah that i have spiritual wealth and that as i walk by faith and not by sight you're going to supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory that's the response that our precious Yahweh want to see from us in this season. And he talking to me too. My God from Zion. So Father, I thank you today. Lord, mighty strong in battle. Because y'all know what? I don't care what try, what try to come my way. Because I know it's not flesh and blood. And I know the things, hallelujah, that try to come at me. The wrath of God is about to come down. And it's, it's not just for me. It's for y'all, too. That's why he said pray for people. 
Bless your enemies and adversaries. Because see, I know I'm, I'm in this thing for the long run. Because the Lord has blessed me even when I was in the world and he continued to bless me as I just continued to just say, okay, Lord, Ooh, okay, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Because in my natural state and what I mean by that when I was in the world, because of the degrees that I had when I was in the world, I kept money. I kept money. I can go and... I, I'm going to get whatever I wanted. I've had houses before that I bought cash. Okay. I kept money. But when I moved into the things of God, things started to dwindle, not because he didn't have greater for me, but because there was something, and I'm talking to somebody, there was something that he needed to, to manifest and do with me. Okay. We all need to ascertain that godly wealth first. So he can build us back up right in it. So many of us are in this thing because I've gotten stuff taken from me over and over and over again. Even as I was in the world. But it wasn't nothing for me to go back and get it because at the end of the day, this 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 stuff is is it's it's materialistic. But I, I choose Yahweh. I choose Yeshua Hamashiach. I choose the Holy Spirit. I choose kingdom. I choose to 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 walk in what He's called me to walk in. I, his love, okay, the anointing and gifting, because like I always say, he could have chose somebody else. He could have went over my whole generational line as there were certain people in place in my family prior to me that did not take on the mantle like they were, like they should have. He could have said, you know, I'm about to bypass this whole family. But yet still he chose, I always say, little Kendra Fife. And I and, and I always got called fire because y'all I'm nothing but five foot two. Like I be wearing shoes that give me a little bump bump. <laughs> but all to say, he he chose me. So y'all, y'all don't think, and ain't need to put yourself in it. He chose you. So y'all don't think that I'm not gonna continue on this walk and journey in him and have trust in him after some of the things and people that it came against me, the abuse, the usury, everything that I had to encounter, even, even hate within the family, being the black sheep. And what I still encounter today, even with ministry people and people, and I see everything from face value. But I'm like, my God. And so I, I was not planning on coming on doing all this. Hallelujah. Y'all, y'all see I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm at my veteran job. Hallelujah. And so I just had to be obedient today. But I thank Yahuwah. Okay. Some people pronounce it Yahuwah. Some say Yahweh. Okay. I am that I am, Abba, because Abba, he's our father. So I just wanted to be obedient today because there's things that I got out of this today that I'm like, wow, I trust you, father. I so trust you in this today. Not because I'm, I'm forced to trust him. And have faith because see our father gives us our own will but because i know who he is because i have a relationship and what he's brought me out of and because i have a desire to serve god and 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 i, and I know he's everly present so it is my choice and my desire and my my will not because oh well i guess i don't have no choice but to you know, shoot, if I want this and that and that, I'm not looking at it that way. If 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 what I asked for in this season, God didn't bring, believe me, I'm OK. Because it's a reason why he ain't bring that or 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 bless me with that. 
but I'm but I'm still rolling with Yahweh. I'm going to roll with him at all aspects. Even if that still puts me in a situation of 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 being um um called the black sheep or weird or or, or people not um understanding the call, the assignment that is upon my life. I don't care. Because though we're we're here to serve God and his people, but we're all called to a people, not everybody. So I'm still going to man. I'm still going to man what the father has me to do. And that's how you have to be. It's your response. So this is Dr. K. I love y'all. I love y'all in the love of the Lord. You are blessed. You are blessed and highly favored. You are blessed and highly favored in this. God got you. You are blessed and highly favored in all of this. So take your position and stand and thank the Lord and thank the Lord and thank the Lord because you are, you are, you are. Hi, the Boko. Let me get myself ready because I got a vet coming in here in probably the next 40 minutes, y'all. And y'all know when God start to maneuver, you know what I'm saying? When that when that Holy Spirit just just arrests me like this, whoo, sometimes it'd be hard to work. But it was needed. I know I needed it, and I know somebody else needed it. So I'm um, unching y'all to listen this, listen to this in totality. Don't get to the end of something. No, listen to it from the beginning to end. From beginning to end. OK. And watch how God blesses you as you are obedient to. Respond. By faith, respond by speaking his word, respond in trust, respond in love. The meek shall inherit the earth. Meek is not weakness. Loving all is not weak. There is such a power, a power in that. All right, love y'all and be blessed. Stay encouraged. Dr. K, I'm signing out. Oh, and get y'all merch, okay? Y'all, y'all sleeping. I, I've been doing shirts for a long time. Y'all sleeping on the merch. This is the kingdom merch. It says live in kingdom, Matthew 6, The other one I had on yesterday, I got quite a bit of responses from that. Get your merch. You can hit me up in my inbox or even on this live. I, I want the merch, but it is on kingdomplugconsulting.com. Get your merch every piece of money goes to something ministry-wise. Love y'all.